Okay, we ran this experiment um, and we changed it a little bit. So let's go up and see what we got. Um, we're gonna turn off this light so we don't get that shadow on there. And as you can see, we got 31.3 volts and 12.7 watts of energy and an amp, look at that, amp 20, amp 23, going into this battery. Now, we didn't change months, because we still got just that one solar, and that one solar is still at, it was at 23, but now it's at 22.8, okay? Uh, and I know why it's at 22, because we put this veritable, that means if I turn this off, and turn that on that's that's why it's not at 23 is at 22 okay but let's see if we turn this solar off let's see turn it off and we still got 26 it didn't go down and why is that okay let's turn it up seem to stay right where it's at we want to know why it's staying at where it's at okay let's turn on this light and see what we added in this charger we added a step up okay and that's 48 uh, volt step up so we're gonna um, make sure it don't get hot but that's taking 12 volts and it's supposed to be a stable 12 volts with the Renergy. So we're taking that 12 volts and this is on the, let me see, can we get a picture of this? The out going up to where the solar cells and what's names are at. And now we're running that experiment. And since we are doing that, Okay, so let's beam back in. Now that we are doing that, we're at 13. So I'm going to run this experiment with this on and with this off. But just right now, we are completing a loop just with this Renergy, the battery. Going through the Renergy and going through the step up, which means that this battery is charging. And since it's only what? Let's go back down. One battery doing all those jobs, that is a complete circle. That means that battery is basically charging itself with all these apparatuses. So you can see that for yourself. You can see how I used to step up and running it through the machine to charge itself. And we're going to be doing that on a lot of equipment to get more power or working power, not working power out of the batteries. And we're going to keep on experiment, but I just wanted you to just read the numbers, see what we got. And then I'm going to keep some data on with the solar on and then we're going to turn that off and do some data with that off just to see if that cycles because when I turn it off now, I'm going to turn it off. That doesn't seem to be going down much. Now the wattage did change, but not by much. Okay. So we know how much we're consuming when it's on 22 watts from the wall and we can see the watts going in 30 36 30 oh see that's good so let's look at that one more time i want to turn this back on because i want to put as much energy in there and i want to look at this look at that 
that is 22.9 watts being consumed from the wall to run that solar that's what that solar is plugged into but if I go back up here this will bounce from down at 11 12 hold on maybe if I turn that gun off I can get that to bounce back up you got to worry about impedance well I got it on film so we'll worry about that later uh, we do know that it went up uh, pretty high but I got an amp on there that's enough to charge that battery and I have 27 volts going in here so we'll just leave it as that and see where we're we're going from there i'll holler at you later all right